Give us some time first. Hello and good morning. Hello. Just wanted to make sure of the head count at the table. So, okay. Alrighty. We'll see you in a little bit then. Okay. Love you guys. Bye bye. They're on the road. Not an hour. mom and today we're continuing on our home building adventure talking about the purchase and prep work for the land um, in our case we were uh, we had to purchase our own land to build with our custom builder and we had a couple of parameters mom wanted to be within a few minutes of her church and I wanted to be close to where I could get to the stores and the hospital and all that. So we chose an area, um, probably about maybe a five, eight mile parameter of her church, which will give me what I was looking for too. We found a few properties on Realtor.com. I think we'll just jump to the chase here with the one we chose. Um, the property we chose is in the suburbs. Uh, it is three minutes from grocery stores, 10 minutes from the hospital, doctor's offices, about 10 minutes away. It's very 10, convenient for everything. 10, 12 minutes from my church. That was very important. Mm -hmm. We made an offer, and on September 21st, the offer was accepted under the condition that the home can be built on the lot. Yes. Uh, so right after that uh, date, we had the walkthrough on the property with uh, Tim, who is our project manager. And he said there's no real problems. The house can be built there, except it'll have to be built a little higher and they'll have a little issue with grading because uh, there's a low spot in the center of the lot where the house would sit and yes. water would lay. Now that we've seen the lot uh, over the course of several months, he's right. <laughs> yeah, it's, it looks like a pie. There's a little bit of room in the center for filling. Yes. But anyway, we had uh, we got the go-ahead from them. So on November 5th, Mom was able to close on the property. One cool thing about the property is it was a development from the 60s, the 1960s. Yes. And the rules... Um, have all expired as of 1980. So all we had to do as far as building went was go by city rules. And if when you build in any of these developments or allotments, they have all kinds of rules. Uh, the one we looked at, we would have had to have built the house out of uh, brick or stone and that would have made the cost of our home. Just and the homes of stone and brick are beautiful homes, but the cost is uh, a mess. Yeah, and neither one of us really are into stone or brick homes, so we have that. So the next step was to get the lot cleared uh, for what was our first dig date. And the dig date is the date they start the actual home building process. That's where they build the, or they dig the basement so they can build the house on the foundation. And our dig date originally was set for April 2nd. And this is November. We have lots of time to, to do this. And we had um, Tim came back and walked the property and marked all the trees for the house for us. What had to be cleared out, definitely. And then we got quotes. Our very first quote came in at $21,000. That was a little bit more than five to ten. Yes. So we had to scramble at that point to find someone that could do it within our budget, or we had to postpone building the house. I mean, it was one of those two. And someone that uh, I knew got a hold of me and said, I can clear it. And he came in with a very, very reasonable uh, budget to take the trees down. 
I called my guy that's doing the excavating and he could remove the stumps for a reasonable fee and it ended up being right about what we had budgeted to do. Yes. So on December 22nd, we hired him. And he, we gave him some money down, $400, and he was going to go get gravel um, to put down so he could get his truck in and out, and he was going to start clearing that lot immediately. Well, this is, no, this is December 22nd. Finally, on February 15th, we took a drive-by on the Yes, property. we did, and I was not a happy camper. Pulled up to the property. He was there with his short crew, and I noticed our neighbor across the street's mailbox looked like a tree had landed on it, and it did. So I looked at Rob, and I said, oh my, I hope this isn't a bad omen. Well, as it turned out, it was. So we went back, um, we drove by regularly because there should be things done. And March 6th, we really couldn't see anything being done. I think I've got some video there that's showing of this. Yes. And this is where I'm starting to get pretty serious with the man because his February 28th date that he guaranteed is gone. And he said, I'll have it all done by April 2nd. I said, well, that's nice but we have to get building permits after you take those trees down, and that's a three-week process. Plus, we need a week for the survey to be done. So we need a month. You have already um, cost us that. And we had already been told by the home builder that our build date had been moved out to uh, March 17th. It just wasn't gonna happen. Well, March, March 30th. 30th, we drove by and they're really, was nothing more done. At this point, we're taking pictures and video just in case it comes to a lawsuit with him because we know this is not going to happen. Uh, the home builder has at this point told us it's going to be May 8th before they can start digging because we can't get the survey done. So we fired him on April 2nd, our original dig date. Uh, I sent a certified letter and uh, I got to use some of that uh, business law that I took in college. <laughs> but I will say what work he had done, which we have pictures of, we did uh, pay him for that, yes. Unfortunately, we found out later he had far less done than it appeared. We paid him for 80% and he may have had 60% done. But that's water under the bridge we Moving have to on. move on. Yes. So we kind of did a scramble and mom remembered someone that had taken trees down on her property years ago. And we called them. It was a friend of the family and their son had just started into business. And he gave us a quote that, oddly enough, took it to exactly what the next lowest quote would have been, including what we had to pay the guy. So we saved absolutely no money and got a lot of headache for that $2,000 thought we were missing. On April 9th, we hired him. On April 17th, we finally drove out there and were just totally, totally shocked at how much was done. How much this young man had done in one, well actually five days, yeah. compared to over two months that the other man had not done at all. So we were very pleased and, and very satisfied with him. And uh, what's left on our lot right now, and I'm hoping at the very end to have a picture that I'll post up, but what's left on the lot is <coughs> one half of a split tree at the back that has to go down before we start building, and one dead tree off to the side, and that's it. And he's done a fantastic job. The excavator will be coming in next to do the um, drive, uh, construction driveway and to remove the stumps. Because of the time constraint, he's doing both together to save us some time. We also had the property state house state yes. because we, this young man got the work done in time to uh, yes. be able to do that. So we, uh, when this is posted, it will be May eighth, I think, is the date you're going to see this, and that'll be our second week 
for having the permits filed. So hopefully we'll be getting those permits within one more week. Um, our next video, we're going to backtrack and we're going to talk about um, the home layout. Uh, it's called a color meeting and the design meeting. And we'll do that. And then uh, hopefully after that, we'll start actually doing weekly updates on the build of our home. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy this, please give us a thumbs up and a like or a subscribe right down in here, I believe is where it's going to be. And you have a fine, fabulous day. And we'll see you next week. Bye, everybody.